You know, speaking of the masquerade, I just thought of something you might be able to help us out with. There's this girl who's been making a lot of noise lately. It's a real pain in the ass. She's a ghoul of this one Toreador creep who disappeared. Yeah, Patty. You must know who I'm talking about then. She used to show up around here and act like she was everybody's best friend. It was all fun and games until her vampire sugar daddy stopped calling. Now she can't get her blood fixed and she ain't so fun no more. Man, she's been told he was dead. She don't listen. Just ask again loud. She's gonna make a scene and get us all some real heat. Vampire hunters, man. You start doing stupid shit and breaking the masquerade, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Trust me, hunters are the kind of trouble you don't want. She's crossed the line. Only time that mouth ain't blabbing is when it's sucking vampire blood. She's gotta disappear. Do this, and we'll keep it our little secret, you hear? Alright, have fun. I'd love to do this one myself, but I know a side. Just let me know when it's done. Yeah? You've got to understand, Kindred. You're carrying a 6,000-year curse in your blood. No matter how powerful it makes you feel, that blood is a tangle of chains that's going to leave you bound in servitude the rest of your existence. Your elders command the blood. They control the blood, and the blood listens. You'll never even hear their call. But the blood will, and it'll make you obey. That shit stretches all the way back to King. Nothing you can do. Some ancient sleeping in a tomb half a world away has a bad dream, and you gon' feel that shit. Get a knife. King, man. Father of all vampires. Killed his brother Abel and was cursed by God to walk eternity feeding on the blood of his children. Some heavy shit, sister. Keep your voice down. Is Kane real? I don't know. Not sure I want to know. The point is, with this curse pulling your strings, you really want to sign away your right to fight by joining the Camarilla? Yeah? Yeah? Who do you want to know about? Kane, man. What's up? Yeah? Yeah? Who do you want to know? You mean college girl over there? <laughs> to be honest, she reminds me of those miserable stateside protester fucks from when I was in Nam. But she's on the right side in this one. Don't let the hippie vibe fool you. Yeah? Who do you want to know about? That's the man there. What righteous kid. I wish he'd take a more active stance in our fight. Fuck, man, he's Jack. Jack just does his thing. God help anyone who gets in the way. Well, well, look at who made it back in one piece. Out in Santa Monica, kiddo. <laughs> I can't imagine you did. I'll be too busy getting pushed around by every vampire with a week of seniority over you, am I right? That's usually the way the story goes. Same old bullshit politics from when you were alive, huh? Don't it make you just want to rip somebody's spine out? What? You saying that's just me? <laughs> politics. The stuff that makes the rich get richer keeps the powerful in power. Look at why you're out in Santa Monica in the first place. Because Prince LaCroix said so. Ha 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 Ah, kid, I never answered a no man in life. Now I sure as shit ain't taking orders from a vampire with a suit and a funny name. And when I die again, the devil's gonna have to cut me a deal if he wants my ass. Besides, I never trust anybody with an X in their name. Because he never thought you'd make it back. If Nines didn't stand up for you in the courtroom, you would have been toast right there, man. Everybody knows that. It's bullshit, Camarilla Law. You gotta get it approved before you sire anyone. 
Vampire population control, fast as crap. LaCroix wanted to look like the strong leader upholding the law. Public relations, man. Calculated risk. Venture are born in a boardroom. When Nines called him out, LaCroix realized it was time to show a carefully measured dose of Camarilla compassion. Yeah, man, it's called kicking ass and crushing the skulls of any asshole who steps on my toes. That seems to work. People dig it. LaCroix is the boss of the Camarilla in L.A. That's it. Hm. LaCroix is a boss. <laughs> That's rich. The free living dead, kiddo. A lot of people like to use the label Anarchs. Whatever the hell that means. Anarchs. Does got a nice kick to it, though, huh? <laughs> yeah. The facts are like this. The Camarilla need us to buy into their bullshit for any of their laws to mean dick. Now, telling free living vampires they need to be ruled was a hard sell. So, the Camarilla baked up a play nicey plan. Show everyone how great they are, so we'll all just jump on board. Kid, we've lived in California, some of us, for over a hundred years, and we've kicked the Camarilla's ass out of town before. Seems like every time they smell blood, they're back trying to take over. Yeah, not a moment too soon, huh? <laughs> he said you guys let those sabat go, too. Nines must be getting soft. How could you pass up that kind of fun? Well, well he was left sireless, too. I don't know, maybe that's it. Well, he's got a thing for the little guy. As much as anyone is. Nines is a stand-up guy. Takes the politics a little too seriously, though. Came up during the Great Depression, so his brain's wired to that shit. Yeah, I'm not sure the story on most of them. Nine's crew. Bruja. Most everyone here has Bruja blood. Moving right along. Oh, my favorite topic. Don't think that Camarilla has a monopoly on those ideals, okay, kid? No one is arguing over that shit, and if they tell you that's what this fight is all about, then they're really giving you the full fist. You hear me? The Camarilla protects the people running the Camarilla. That's it, the end. The rest of them are bloody gristle for the machine. Doddering old dust farts. They might be powerful as all hell, but who knows? They're too afraid to stick their heads out of their hidey holes. And why should they? This whole huge system is built so they don't have to. Ah, not one of the bigs, but he ain't out risking his ass in the street, that's for sure. LaCroix has ambitions of joining that inner circle. Delivering Los Angeles in their pocket would look killer on a resume. Ah, to hell with LaCroix. I've blasted better vampires' brains all over the wall. He's not the prince, he's a prince. Ah, he's a typical Venture asshole. Predictable, safe, no imagination. Ah, man, the guy's a pussy. He just got lucky he showed up in L.A. at the right time. I'm not saying he's stupid. He's just an asshole who needs his teeth kicked in, that's all. Oh, the sheriff, yeah. I love how everyone's talking about that big mystery. It's like someone embraced a doped-up gorilla. What else did you need some truth about that's us, so I'm told. What'd you want to know? Yeah, I could tell you about the history of the movement about our struggle. <laughs> What's any of that shit mean, anyway? Do we want to sit through history class here? I'm no scholar, kid, but I've been around. Seen more and done more than most vampires everywhere. I don't know that our situation's ever gonna be easy, but some things you gotta decide are worth fighting for. Fight harder than the other son of a bitch. Every time I yank a jawbone from a skull and ram it in an eye socket, I know I'm building a better future. <laughs> you bet, kid. Me? <laughs> I never had much patience for negotiations. Everyone can live or burn. It's up to them. Yeah, I'm not sure the story on most of them. Nine's crew. Bruja. 
Most everyone here has Bruja blood. Moving right along. Again, does everything have to be about these dickheads? The Saban are worthless, man. Fake tits on a zombie worthless. Fun to watch, though, like the Three Stooges with chainsaws. Yeah, they oppose the Camarilla, but they suck when it comes to execution. The Sabat are in the same business as the Camarilla. Sabat have a little longer chain, but they're slaves all the same. Moving right along. What's on your mind? What about them? What do I think of humans? I don't, really. When you were alive, did you think about cows? <laughs> You know, if one got killed, I bet you didn't cry, but, you know, you're not out there slaughtering them for sport, either. Ah, man, we got our own problems. Let the kin sink or swim. Moving right along. What's on your mind? What's up? You showed up. Good. Here's what I gotta tell you. And so you know, I don't lecture, I don't rap, I'm no bureaucrat. I'm just a guy out of nowhere came to be involved in something 500 times bigger than you and me. You got a right to know the score. The Camarilla? This is the short of it. They operate a lot like a pyramid scheme. There's a bunch of these old timers at the top with God only knows what plots in mind. They lose their power, they die. They sired more to carry out their plans, and looking for a little power than those kindred sired for their own schemes, and so on and on and on. It hurts my head just thinking about the mess. And it works out too as this. Only a few people at the top have any real power. Them's fighting words, newbie. But you're young and stupid, so I won't make an example of you. See, the Camarilla claims all of us are members, even if we don't want to be. Which is, of course, the biggest little horseshit a man ever heard. I learned the way of this world during the Depression. A bunch of old rich bastards screwed the country. But did they suffer? No. The little people suffered. You can't trust the people at the top. The world would be a better place without them. All you can do is get a group of people together who aren't assholes. Find a place to put your feet up and make some examples of the quote-unquote elite to keep the rest the hell out. Everyone's an equal here. The same thing this country used to be about. That's what LA has been. An anarch free state. The Camarilla was kicked out on their ass a long time ago. We, the Anarchs, didn't want to play their politics anymore. Now the Croy and crew pop in like they never left? Uh-uh. No goddamn way. Their laws don't apply to us. I got their meeting right here. The Croy represents everything I hate. The Camarilla, stuck-up aristocrats, rich businessmen, crooked politicians. The only place LaCroix belongs is in an urn. No such thing. And again, newbie, don't throw those kind of words around lightly. You're risking a beatdown. I fought to keep L.A. free since I was embraced. A long time later, I'm one of the only ones left that hasn't bit it or switched sides. The most veteran soldier in the battle. Here's what I tell all the new blood. One, you get careless, that blood will make you into a monster. But you rampage around here, you get put down. Two, don't kill when you feed. No reason to. In this city, there's lots of ways to slake the beast without leaving a trail of dead. Three, the Camarilla's full of shit. Four, watch your back, always. And lastly, learn how to fight. Because a speech ain't gonna save your ass when you're staring down the barrel of a shotgun. After picking your ass up off the pavement back there, yeah, I can tell you don't even know the basics. Hold your hands up like this, and keep your body at an angle. It makes you harder to hit. Keep your thumbs out of your fists and put your weight into your punches. LA's the school of hard knocks, so keep your friends close and your enemies in a barbecue pit. Once you square things with LaCroix, don't give that son of a bitch the time of night. I got my eye on you, kid. Yeah? No one likes him in this world or the next. 
peace to the annals that George Washington was to the colonies, but Ho Chi Minh was to Vietnam. He is the L.A. Annals personified. He's a great leader, and yet, he's humble. I die. No one like him in the Camarilla or otherwise. Anything else? Jack? Jack's Jack. Kind of a legend amongst Anarchs. There's not an Anarch in the world who wouldn't stand in rock star awe of Jack. Even the Camarilla doesn't mess with him. He's been around a long time. He used to be a pirate, so the rumor goes. Talk to Jack. He's never short on Jack. Hey, I heard that. about some kind of monster that took him somewhere and got him sick. And that's all I know, okay? And that's all I'm saying. Well, you can usually find him down in his alleyway, just across from that bar over there. there, huh? Old Bill can't see too good these days. Is that you, Betty? I ain't got no booze tonight, so you may as well get the hell out of here. Yeah, I might be able to. <laughs> but I'm awful thirsty tonight, miss. Could you spare five bucks for a man who's been down on his luck? <laughs> Thank you much. <coughs> I'm going to have to go pick up some hooch. <laughs> For medicinal purposes, you know. <laughs> now, I know you ain't going to believe old Bill, because I've been telling my friends and the cops and everyone since it happened. And people just say that it's the hooch talking and nothing more. It was a monster, you see monster with this face all twisted and ugly, teeth longer than your finger, and these eyes piss yellow and full of hate. I've never seen eyes like that before, still giving me bad dreams. He grabbed me, threw me over his shoulder, took me to the bad place, the dark place. <laughs> oh, God, the smell, worse than anything I've... And then he bit me, my neck. Oh, God. It was horrible. Don't remember too much after that. Blacked out and woke up here in my alley. <coughs> Haven't been feeling too well since then. <coughs> Came up through the sewers, he did. Just around the corner there. <coughs> Don't want to go back to the bad place, friend. <coughs> Don't let the monster come back and take me there.
Down here, did you? <laughs> Following the smell of entrails <laughs> and rotting flesh. Looking for a free meal, little bloodsucker. There's meat galore in my kingdom. Brother Canker, they call me. High Lord in the diseased halls of the dead. Look around you. The blood. The bloated bodies. The maggot writ mortal shells. These are the signs. The coming of a new age. The weak, sick, hopeless. I bring them a new purpose. They are the vessels of darkness, carrying the diseased truth in their veins. <laughs> the Brotherhood of the Ninth Circle. The darkest dawn is almost upon us. Come, join us in these last nights. Spreading our disease upon the earth, sharing this unholy communion with our human heart. <sighs> the doors have been opened, the seals broken, and the final steps into the abyss. The terrible mysteries of the ninth circle. <laughs> Come. Join the disciples who have gathered here, floating in their own putrescence. I will show you the mysteries of our brotherhood as I feed on your flesh!
can. Right on. Except we just did a second one over near the convention center. They're part of some doomsday cult, apparently. No telling how many there are, but it's open season on all these sick sons of bitches. Did you see it? These two guys, that guy and another, and well, they showed up. I've been living here, so I hid. I thought maybe they was owners or, or cops come to clean the place out. The dead fella called him Muddy. Oh, they was waiting on someone. They were going to do some kind of job, they were saying. But the person they was meeting, well, he was late. So the one guy leaves to find the phone and call him, and, and the dead guy stayed. Oh, that's when the killer, yeah, that's when he showed up. One second he wasn't there, and then he was. Like out of the shadows he come up, scared the shit out of the dead guy. I liked to scream, but I couldn't breathe. Oh, that killer, he grew these claws. I swear it, I saw it. The dead guy went white like he'd seen the devil, and then the killer grabbed him round the neck and lifted him up and started cursing at the guy. Oh, I couldn't hear too good. Something about revenge for what he did or what they did. The killer... 